It is completely unthinkable that the government would fake an alien invasion in order to fix the economy, right? Well, to fix the economy, right? Well, to fix the economy, right? Well, not if you are a Nobel Prize winning economist known for the most to fix the economy, right? Well, to fix the economy, right? Well, not if you are to fix the economy, right? Well, to fix the economy, right? Well, not if you are a Nobel Prize winning winning economist known for the most idiotic views in the world, also known as Paul Krugman. Paul Krugman, who is currently a writer for the New York Times, won the Nobel Prize for Economics in 2008. And if you Google UFOs right now, you are going to be bombarded with news articles. And that's if you haven't already been bombarded with all this stuff on social media within just the last week. So what do these new reports of all these UFOs going around online right now? Now, and a Nobel Prize winner from 2008 have to do with each other. Well, you have to take a little bit of a trip back in time to the year 2011. In the year 2011, again, this is only three years after he won a Nobel Prize in economics, Paul Krugman suggested that an alien invasion could fix the economy. Now, if you don't know anything about this guy, basically he just says more spending from the government will fix any problem there is. If the problem is too much government, well, we just gotta let the government spend even more money and that'll fix that problem too. Too. And his tune has rarely changed. And in 2011, remember, this is just a couple years after the financial crisis, he was advocating for the government to spend more and more money in order to try and stimulate the economy out of the mess it was in. In an interview, Paul Krugman said, if we discovered that space aliens were planning to attack and we needed a massive buildup to counter the space alien threat, and inflation and budget deficits took secondary place to that, this slump would be over in 18 months. Now, the video today is very difficult to find of this interview, but in the entire interview, he very much implied that even if this alien invasion just happened to turn out to be fake and that somebody had been faking it from the very beginning, it would still have the intended effect. The result would still be that the economy would be fixed. Now, for the average everyday person like you and me, we can see from the start, this is an absolutely preposterous suggestion, and there's no way that anybody could take this seriously, right? Well, not so fast. Many people say while this idea sounds provocative, there is a serious argument behind it. It would be very much like what the US did during World War II, when going to war was the single biggest factor that helped the US dig itself out of the Great Depression because it generated jobs and exports. So is there in fact any merit to this theory? Whether it's a war with another country or a war with another species from outer space, could that be something that actually stimulates the economy? Unfortunately, the answer is a resounding no. If you've never read this book, Economics in One Lesson by Henry Hazlitt, I highly recommend taking a look at this book. It is one of the simplest and shortest books that explains most economics topics in a way that almost everybody can understand. And one chapter goes over the broken window fallacy. And going to war in order to stimulate economic growth is an example of a broken window fallacy. In this example, there is a neighborhood in which a young hoodlum breaks a window of a baker's shop by throwing a brick through it. But because the window needs to be replaced, that will provide income for the glassmaker. That means the glassmaker will have $50 more to spend with his other merchants that he spends money on. They will then have more to spend and so on and so on. And if you stop there, it looks like destruction, the broken window, results in wealth creation because the destruction causes that money to be spent and then that one person's expenses becomes another person's income and that new income becomes somebody else's expenses and, inc and income and then expenses and so on and so on. Wealth creation from destruction right? Not so fast. While the broken window will produce extra business for the glassmaker, that shopkeeper will now no longer be able to spend that same $50 on the suit that he would have bought otherwise, which means he will now have to go without the suit, which means now instead of having a window and $50, now he only has the window. Or if he would have bought the suit, now instead of having a window and a suit, now again, he just has a window. This is an example of the scene 
seen versus the unseen. Everybody sees the money that is spent on the new window and the stimulus that that extra spending causes. But what is unseen is the lack of spending, the spending that couldn't take place because that money was diverted elsewhere just to replacing what was destroyed in the first place. And if that destruction would have never happened, the net result would have actually been more wealth rather than just replacing the wealth that was destroyed. And it is no different with war. When you take real resources and real labor and you dedicate them to wasteful practices, things that destroy materials, use up and waste resources, destroy buildings, destroy infrastructure, and end lives, these are not things that promote growth. These are things that cause destruction, and any spending to rebuild from that destruction simply replaces what was already there and leaves a net loss on society rather than growth. So where does this leave us with the UFOs? Obviously, right now, there are very few people who know what is actually going on, and anybody who does probably isn't sharing it with the public right now. However, given what we know about the history of the government engaging in behaviors to try and manipulate the psychology of the citizens in order to support something that they would never support otherwise, and given the precarious position the government is in right now with their finances, national debt at an all-time high, tax income plummeting, interest rates on their debt skyrocketing, and looking like the economy is on the brink of collapse due to ever-increasing debt loads for the corporations and the households, interest rates going up, and the economy being on potentially the brink of collapse, would it be such a huge stretch that the government would start to use something, an idea that has been brewing by Nobel Prize winning economists since 2011 to try and get the public to support a brand new war to try and stimulate the economy and fix our problems. I'm not saying I think that is what's going on right now. I'm just saying I wouldn't be surprised if it was. As always, really appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.